What's up WordPress nerds? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to eliminate the render blocking JavaScript on your WordPress site. This is something that we probably encounter on PageSpeed Insights or in Lighthouse or GT Metrics. Uh, and so there are a couple different methods. The first method I'm gonna show you guys is if you are a non-techie and you just need to use a plugin to do this, and then the second method is going to be for developers out there who want to handle this themselves. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress tutorials. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so if you don't know how to code, let me walk you through really quick how you can do this with a plugin. So if you are seeing the error like we're seeing right here on my screen, it's going to be telling you that you have render blocking resources on your web page and it needs to be deferred. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to walk you through how to get that list either completely gone or drastically reduced. And my favorite method for this is, is using a plugin called WP Rocket. And the reason why I like WP Rocket over other plugins is it's not only going to fix this problem of render blocking resources, but it's also going to fix a few other problems as well. We can see right here that it's going to defer the JavaScript loading, but it's also gonna do a ton of other things. It's going to fix um, our page caching, our compression, it's gonna do lazy loading for us, it's going to do minification, it's gonna do a handful of things that we're also seeing in those GT metrics reports or um, Lighthouse reports or PageSpeed Insight reports. So if this is something for you, then you can click the link in the description and follow the process and it will give you eventually a zip file that we can install like a plugin. So if we were to go to plugins and then add new here in the back end, click upload plugin. And then if I were to open up my downloads folder here, I can drag that in and click install now. And so what this is gonna do is that's going to install it just like any other plugin. And then once we have that installed, well then we're going to activate the plugin. And once we have this activated, it's going to give us a new screen that we can then go to to um, check some settings for us. So we can click on settings down here and it's going to take us to a dashboard that looks a little something like this. Now, over here on the left-hand sidebar, the third tab down is file optimization. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page, there is a section for JavaScript files. And so what we're gonna wanna do is load JavaScript deferred, and we're gonna check that box and make sure that the next box that comes up is also checked, which is safe mode for jQuery. And then we are going to click save changes. Now, once you've done this, then the magic is done for that particular issue. And then we can log out. I can go back to my page. I can rerun that audit that we were just looking at. And then all of a sudden those issues are now going to be gone. So if I go back down to where my opportunities were, now all of a sudden render blocking resources is no longer an issue. All right, so what if we wanted to not rely on a plugin for this? What if this is something that we wanted to take upon to ourselves? So we have to eliminate the render blocking resources for Google to be happy. Well, in this example, I have a few JavaScript files that we're going to try to eliminate. We have file one, file two, file three. These are all JavaScript files that I have locally on my theme. And then we have horrible.js, which is coming from a plugin that I installed that I just made myself just as an example. And then we also have jQuery and jQuery migrate. So let's uh, start off with our theme files. Now, the first and foremost thing that you need to do is, is always remember to test after every, cha every change that you're making and, uh, and make sure that nothing's breaking on your site as you're kind of moving the position of these JavaScript files. So in WP and QScript, when we are saying that we want this JavaScript file to be on our page, we are also saying at the very end with the last argument, whether or not this should go in the footer. So if this is true, then it'll put it in the footer. And if it's false, it'll go in the header. So all we have to do in this case is just set these guys to true, and then they're gonna be down in the footer. If we were to rerun this audit, we're gonna see 
that those are no longer a problem and it's not going to get a score against us. So if we open this up now, all we have is jQuery and horrible JS. Google's happy that we threw that down into the footer. If we take a look here at our page, right near the end of the body tag, we have our three scripts and everything is good there. However, like we don't have access to horrible.js and it's still yelling at us saying that we should get rid of it. If we were to take a look right here, it still says, hey, this is a problem. So what do we do about scripts that we don't have any control over? Well, there's a couple different ways, but the way that I have found, usually when I am okay with deferring or moving uh, JavaScript files that are third party, usually it's kind of all or nothing. And not to say that you couldn't take this down a little bit, but I have a little function here that does kind of what we're thinking. So what we're gonna do is we are on the script loader tag filter right here. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give us the HTML string for the script tag that's going to return one of these guys. So this whole thing, it's gonna give it to us so we can do what we want with it. And so we're not gonna do anything if it's on the admin, if it's not a JavaScript file, and it's not jQuery.js. So if it's anything besides that, it's a JavaScript file that we care about that's third party. What we can do is we can find the source, space source, and then we're going to just add on defer and then add in that source back. So that's gonna add a defer attribute to every single JavaScript file besides jQuery. Now, I know this is kind of like the giant nuke approach to this problem, but if you are in control of your JavaScript files, or I mean the plugins that are on your site, this is less of a problem. So let's take a look at what it did. So if we were to refresh our page, now that we have that filter in there, we are going to see that all of our scripts have a defer on it. And so if we were to go into the head tag as well, we can take a look and it looks like all the, you know, the emoji stuff has it on there. Um, jQuery does not, which we told it to do exactly that. jQuery migrate has it. And even defer uh, the horrible.js has a defer tag on it. And if we were to take a look at the audit here and we were to rerun it, now all of a sudden it doesn't care about anything. We have now completely removed the render blocking JavaScript from this. Everything except for jQuery has been deferred and therefore it was no longer a problem for our page to render. All right, so one last thing that I wanna bring up on this is that when we defer all of our scripts, it's still going to load everything in the same order. So if we were to refresh this, we have I'm horrible followed by file one, then file two, then file three. That's exactly what we want. That's how it was originally. But you know, all not all sites are this simple. What if we needed to, um, are making some decisions about deferring certain scripts versus others and things like that. There is one thing that can happen. And in fact, it will happen if you do it this way. If you are starting to def um, leave out certain files from being deferred, then it's going to change the order in which the files are executed. So if we were to refresh this page, now that we have file two in there, all of a sudden file two is being fired first and executed first, and then followed by the rest in that same order. So as long as file two doesn't care that other, other uh, files are fired before it, or after it or whatever, if it's just completely on its own, doesn't care, then this isn't a problem, but there are scenarios where it does matter. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that if you defer things, it will stay in that order as long as everything is deferred. But if you start removing things or only deferring certain things, it will throw out the order. So something to be aware of, and hopefully that solves a headache or two that you might run into. But anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful by the end of uh, doing kind of all this stuff. Your render blocking JavaScript should almost go completely away and you should have a much better experience for your users. If you found the video helpful, please just like the video, subscribe, leave me a comment, see if you have some cool techniques that I'm not aware of. 
And uh, yeah, I appreciate the support, guys, and I will see you in the next one.